my top 10 hardest demons in geometry dash hello this is xv micro gg the dumbest name ever all right let's get into the video number 10 slap squad 2 the first reason why i found this demon difficult is towards the ufo place it was only difficult because i kept messing up going through and out the yellow and blue portals if you go through it incorrectly you crash at the end on the top or the bottom the next part that I found difficult was towards the wave it was only difficult because I kept messing up because it was so tight to get through and it was going pretty fast I kept crashing at that tiny little spike on the wall or I would go up too high or too low or hold it for too long but when I got it pretty easy the next section was the ship I don't know why I found this so difficult I just kept at crashing on the spikes on the top and the bottom it's just so hard but you know a bit of practice you can do it all right the next part was at the second part of the boss fight when you get through it and I am the wave and these things that come on the top and the bottom come down and I will screw up and crash all over the place there's three of them took me a little while to get used to but I eventually got it all right the final difficult part towards the end you had to jump on get higher and higher because the lava is coming up and then it comes to this mini cube I will always screw up there i don't know because i suck at the game or i just was not practicing enough but it was so difficult i kept like when i try and click i click on the wrong ones i click too many buttons but after it it was pretty easy number nine guardian the first part i found difficult is coming out of the cube into the ship in the second boss fight I only found it difficult because when you're coming out of the queue, you have to tap, tap, tap slowly. Because if you don't, you crash into lava or crash into the giant laser. I will constantly mess up there. The next part that I found difficult was towards the final phase of the boss fight. Towards the end of the boss fight, you go into the wave you get very quickly. Because you gotta go down, then up very quickly. And then drop down because he's gonna shoot a giant laser at you. But one other part that I found difficult was a bit early in the boss fight where you gotta click green arrow and you gotta hit right in there. If you don't, the laser's gonna hit you. And I'll constantly miss it because it's going so fast. Oh, one more part that I missed was early in the level where you're going to the ship where you gotta dodge these two spiky objects. And constantly crash into them. It made me so mad. Number eight, point blank. All right, the first part that I found difficult was towards the end of the robot part. There are these three orbs. For some reason, if you hit them too early or too late, you will instead going the ball crash into the wall of it. And it sucks. The next part that I found difficult was the ball. To pass the ball part, you have to get this heart. If you don't, it will automatically kill you. I would get the heart, then click and then shoot over in the wall. Or I will cut the pink orb. And I think if you hit the green orb too early or too late, you smack into the wall. Or a spike. And after that, the Q part, uh, there's nothing to it, it's pretty darn easy. But after that, oh my god, the wave. And there are two things I'm not good at this game. The wave and four times speed. It wasn't that hard, but it was still pretty darn difficult. Because there are these spikes on the side of the wall. There's a lot of things going on. It's moving up and down, it's crazy. It took me a little while to get used to, but I eventually got it. The next part that I found a bit difficult was the ship. I don't know, it's dying really stupidly. Let's move on. The next part that I found difficult was the next wave. 
it was so much freaking harder. Like, I think it was just really tight. It was going really fast. Because one part you have to like spam really click, then go up and down, then spam, then you go into a double. And the double is a bit difficult, but eventually, guys, then you have to go in a knee wave up, down, and into the UFO. Then after that, nah, there's nothing to it. So it was pretty much easy after that, and that's it. Number seven, boss for laser eyes. All right, at the beginning of the level, the ship, there's nothing really that complex. It's pretty easy, but it did get confused sometimes. There are these missiles that shoot down, or something crash in the lasers, but not that hard. The first part that I found difficult was towards the boss fight. There is this part in the level where you have to spam before this object crush you into the ground. I will constantly press too little and die or I'll do it then crash right after. After that the rest of the boss the first phase of the boss fight pretty easy nothing that complex. On to the next part. The next part was like a human robot part but there's nothing really that hard either. Pretty easy. Died there a couple times but you know, pretty darn easy. The next part was like the spider. It was only very hard because it was really confusing. There's a lot going on the screen. A couple of fake orbs. Took me a little while to get it down. Yeah. But one part that I did find difficult on the spider part was this part we have to click really fast but not too fast. I would constantly die here. I would get so freaking mad. Wow, I sound like an idiot. Okay, next, the ball part. Nothing really that difficult either. Alright, let's continue on. Well, it was slightly confusing, but still really easy. Alright, the final phase of the boss fight. Now, this is where things just get crazy. The first part I found difficult was the wave. Okay, you gotta click really fast you know, because the boss is shooting a gun and a laser. I don't constantly crash there. After that, going to the UFO, pretty easy. But then after that, you go into the ship, then go upside down, then the spider, then you have to spam really hard, and I will mess up there. Then you go into another ship, that's pretty easy, a wave, just click really fast and you're all good. The next part that I found kind of difficult, you go into the ship, well first, the cube, you have to click really fast, then ship, then hit this black orb. I will miss it quite a bit, but you know. Then a ball transition, pretty easy. Then the final UFO part, you have to spam because a laser's coming is gonna hit you. Then you gotta stay right in the middle, straight fly, and then the boss is over. You defeat him. Yay. Number six, Nautilus, Nautilus, travel. Yeah. Well, first, the cube, pretty darn easy. Nothing hard about it. Next, well, actually, most of the is pretty darn easy. Considered made two or one man the level. There's nothing really hard at all about that level. Let's get to the hard parts. The first part that I found difficult was coming out the cube into the UFO. For the UFO, you gotta click one, two, three, four. They go into the wave and it will constantly crash. I got missed targets or get the timing wrong or I would go in incorrectly. And after that, into the cube, pretty easy. Then you go into the ship, you got like hold, and let it go into another cube. After that, you're going to a duel. The duel that's pretty easy. When I first saw it, oh my god, that must be impossible. But actually, pretty easy. The only reason I found this little so difficult was because it was like six minutes long and I'll get very extremely nervous like my hands will be sweaty, my heart will be crazy, I'll be getting so nervous, freaking out inside trying to stay calm. Yeah. Alright, the next part that I found difficult was in the slow part. First part you go into a ship, then the wave and into the mini wave. I hate the mini wave. I'll constantly 
crash on those stupid spikes, constantly mess it up. Then into the ship. Well, nothing really that hour, but I did mess up sometimes, and it really made me mad. Like, why? Why die there of all places? After that, into a slow, cute part. I was very nervous, but pretty easy. After that, oh my god, this part with me was so annoying. It's a ship. So what you gotta do, you gotta hold, let go click, hold and click. It was so annoying, I would constantly mess up the timing of it. After that, it's pretty easy after that. I didn't really see anything else hard with the level. Let's move on. A good portion of this level is pretty easy, but you know, some parts are really difficult. Well, this wasn't hard, I just really love the drop. Like, just listen to this drop. <laughs> Freaking epic. I love this part of the level. So rainbow, so amazing. Just want to say so. Alright, the next part was like a cube and a ship. I found this part difficult because it was very confusing. I found it very hard to read the gameplay. So yeah. Alright, the next part is... Oh wait, let's talk about how I flew this out. Like, just watch. Mm, oh my god, I nearly died. I was like... I like going like, oh, oh my god, who is this? I swear, if I die there, I'd be like, oh, you mother. Alright then. After that, I was like, Whoa. oh my god, drag it back in focus. I have a Q part, then another, then go to a ship. And the next part I found to go with this Q. This Q, you have to be very careful. And you have to hit the orb, time is very carefully. If you don't, there's a couple things that could happen after. You land those three spikes, or when you go into those blue bounce things, you will, you will bounce all and hit the top of the wall and die. Then after that, a cube and then, well, let's just, just enjoy this part. And that's the end of the level. Number 5 Boss 3 Electro The first and second part of the level are really easy. Nothing to talk about there. But the third part of the level is kind of confusing. You gotta dodge these spiky things and they kind of like follow you. You have to dodge and go up, down. Found a bit confusing but I actually got it. The fourth part I really struggled. Because you go into this little ship. You have to hit this black orb and you have to do this very tiny gap and I will always crash there even after that it's a really tight hard flying section after that into the boss fight the part into the boss fight you go in this wave and I find it difficult for these spike thing on the top and bottom will bounce up and down and I will crash into them the next part I find slightly difficult you have to jump over these three spikes hit a pink orb hit the green orb I met the green arrow. You let go, go down, click the red orb. I found that slightly difficult. The next part I found difficult was you gotta spam these black orbs, then hold the pink arrow, then hit the next black orb, then go up, down, up, UFO, yeah! After that, pretty easy. Pretty much the rest of the boss fight is easy from there on. And then the final part. I got really nervous because some of the timings are really tight, but I got it. And the level is over. Number four against the god. The first part was a cube. It was a pretty easy cube, you know, some orb timings, hit them right, easy peasy. To the next part is the ship. The ship was hard with these spike things on the top and the bottom they were moving. And towards the end of the ship, there are two portals, the yellow and the blue one. I thought I had to go to the yellow one, but I kept Go in the yellow one, but you're not supposed to go through the blue one. It always tripped me out. All right, the next part, the robot. 
Most of the robot part was pretty easy towards the end of it. I found this robot part hard because there are these four green orbs. You gotta hit them perfectly or you're gonna crash and fail. The next part, the ball. The ball was pretty easy. Let's move on. Nothing hard about it. The next part is slow part of the level. It wasn't that hard. There were just some timings I had to get good at. Let's move on. The next part is the boss fight. The boss fight was actually really easy. Nothing hard about it. You got just blocks and shots. It was really easy to dodge. It attacks. The next part is the robot, but you will quickly turn into the ship. I found this only difficult because you gotta hit this yellow orb perfectly. If you don't, you crash and die. Like you will go up too high or miss it and crash into those gears. Then they wave, but the wave really easy. Let's move on. Most of this part of the load is actually really easy. Just some orb timings, practice, get it right, and you're all good. The next part, another slow part. At this point, I'm really nervous. I'm freaking out inside. I was so dead focused at this point in the level. There were some kind of tough Q timings, but not that hard. Then into a wave. You, you can't hit these hitboxes. There are spikes. They're kind of hard to, to notice. Then into another ship. Then the final boss fight. There was so much to dodge. You have to straight fly. And whenever you see that red danger sign, that means go down. It's really hard to memorize. So at this point, I was just really focused, trying not to die. Pretty much just practice it a lot. All right, I'll let you enjoy the rest of it. And that's it. And keep in mind, I did this on the first attempt. Well, the first run of me playing it. I think it took me one or, one or two thousand attempts to actually beat the level. All right, see ya. Number three, Neon Eighteen. I have a lot to say about Neon Eighteen. This is probably my most favorite level to play. Like OMG. Alright, the first part is a ship. It's pretty easy. You have to block some objects around you and you're all good. Next part, a UFO. Pretty easy, you know, you just have to practice it a little and you're all good. The next part is a cube. And this part alone is so amazing. Look at the detail of the freaking background. It's freaking amazing. Alright, getting off track. The cube part was very easy. I and mean, it was very easy to do. I found no trouble doing it. The next part, I know shit. I found the beginning of it so kind of hard because it's black hole. You gotta hit this black hole perfectly. If you don't, you're gonna crash into the little spikes that are pointing at you. The next part, into a UFO. It's pretty quick. Not that long of a UFO. It's pretty easy. Yeah. The next part, I actually found really difficult with this wave. Because you guys into these portals. And you get to go up, down, flipping all the place. It's really hard for him to get down, but I'm actually got it. You have to go in a cube, and then go into a ball. You shoot up into a UFO, you gotta hit these green orbs immediately. Then hit this green arrow, smack down, and the rest of them there is pretty easy. Then you go into like a spider, the spider's pretty easy. Or right, into the first boss fight. I found this boss fight so confusing. There are these arrows you, you're supposed to follow, but like, no, these arrows, they did not help me at all. The easiest way to do is kind of like straight flying, kind of go up, down, very slightly and very carefully. Then it's going to shoot this big laser, you got to go up, down, be able to gotta dodge these orbs, they can kill you. And this circular thing comes, and you got to go down because it's trying to hit you with lasers. Then the boss leaves, and go in this easy ship section. Then you go into this crazy part, you go into a wave, then a cube, then into this UFO. I found this UFO very struggling. Because I found really hard going that yellow and the blue orb. 
then into a easy cube. No, I meant the ball. Then into another boss fight. To win this boss fight, you gotta hit these green. I mean, these. I meant the cubes. You gotta hit these cubes. When you click on them, they deactivate this boss lasers. Then into this slow. This auto park. And I don't know what this means. I don't know what Zender game was trying to make here. But let's move on. Then into this slow ball park. It's real easy. Let's move on to the hard part of the level. Then you go to a three times UFO. You gotta go hit the yellow orb, then jump into the blue orb, in the blue portal, then the blue orb, then into a robot. This robot made me so mad. You gotta hit at the arrows perfectly or these gears are gonna hit you. Then into a ship, then into a spider. This spider was very frustrating to me. I constantly die here. Like, ugh, you gotta hit it perfectly. Then into another, then into a dual wave, I mean UFO. Then to another UFO, then you had to spam these black orbs, then into the duel. I thought this duel was impossible, but actually, it's really easy. You gotta only have to do one or two, three clicks. It's so cool, it's got that 1970 or 1980 look to it. Then the final part, this, the final stage of the level. It's really easy, but I was incredibly nervous because I did not want to die this far into the level. Then the end credits. And the end credits are so cool, alright? Goodbye. Number two, Tech Zone. <sighs> tech Zone! I swear to God, Tech Zone, this level made me so freaking mad. I cannot tell you how much I rage quit of this level. Alright, we're getting off track. Alright, the first part was a cube. This cube is so annoying. There's some cute, I mean, orb timings, but pretty easy. The next part was like a ball. And there are these two blue orbs. You gotta hit it pretty specifically, or you're gonna crash at that spike after the ball part. You're going in this easy UFO, then into another cube, after that, into a slow robot part. There are some timings, like you gotta hit these orbs in the in Pacific timings, or you're gonna die. It was just difficult because there were a lot of orb timings. Let's go into the heart part. And this is where the beat drops, you go into this cube you gotta hit these two green orbs very quickly into a ship you gotta go up then into a up a four times upside down ufo you gotta click 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 very carefully then you gotta hit these pink orbs you have to hit them if you don't you're gonna die after then to another cube but this you just have to hit it very fast and you gotta go to this two pink orbs you gotta Hold, hold very quickly, then into this main wave. This main wave was a bit frustrating. I died here a couple times. Then to a UFO, then you hold a green arrow to a cube, and the boom, you're into a ship. To the first battle, the boss fight. First, you gotta go up a little, you gotta dodge these missiles, then down, then up. Then when that next missile comes, you, you drop down immediately. Then you have to straight fly a little. Then you gotta go up very high up the ceiling. You go too high, you're gonna hit and die at that wall. The boss fight was just very fast paced. You didn't have a lot of time to do it. Then to a duel. On top, you're a ball. On the bottom, you're a UFO. And you gotta run for this crazy robot that's trying to kill you. The UFO part was quite easy, but I died here a lot also. It was quite frustrating. Then it's just you and the UFO. Then you go to this main where you gotta click very quickly, but not too fast. You gotta dodge these little spikes. Then to another UFO, you gotta click three times. Then all the green, pink, I mean, I mean the pink arrow. Then this is probably the hardest part of the level. Then you gotta hold these pink arrows, you gotta do it carefully. There's a timing to it. You hold that pink, or pink arrow, then the next one. Then you gotta jump at the last man, that spike. Then a bit early on the second one. Then into a ship. This ship, you cannot hit those orbs that have X on. So I have to click, 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 then hold, then hit that green, I mean the yellow orb. Then you gotta hit the blue orb. You gotta hit the yellow orb really early. Then you got, then you don't click anything, and then you hold, then you hold, then you gotta click two times, go upside down, then you hold, then you gotta straight fly, then you gotta hit two more times, then into the boss fight. The boss fight was really difficult, there were a lot of tight timings. You first have to straight fly through these, these missiles. I found this very difficult, you gotta dodge these, these objects on the top and bottom. Alright, after those missiles, you gotta go up, cause he's gonna, he's gonna shoot you with his minigun. Then down, then up, cause he's gonna shoot some two lasers, and you, 
have the wheel work with his lasers, they fade out quite long, so you, you have to wait. And then his next attack was so annoying. He shoots these swords and they strafe like so hard. I died there so many times and I literally scream at the top of my lungs for it. After that you hit this black or it shoots you down. Then you go up again because it's going to shoot you with a minigun but not too high. Then you got to go up really high because it's going to attack you with those giant swords thing. Down pretty low because it's going to do it again. Then up and then the final part you're going to spam it. I was just spam it. You have to spam it 30 times and Dale was like oh my god I did it. Overall the level is difficult. From tight timings, a lot of speed changes, very difficult timings. Before I tell you the final and the hardest demon of all time I played, here's some honorable mentions. Alright, first we got a cube. This cube part was really difficult. It was really confusing because there were a lot of tight timings and other things towards the end of the cube part. There's these blue and black orb. You gotta hit the blue orb quickly, but wait a little on the black orb. Then jump, and then hit the two. Well, hit the green orb, then the green arrow, and then you're all good. The next part was this ball. This ball was very frustrating. You gotta hit the two orbs a bit late, then spam really hard. On these platforms, you gotta hit really fast, you could die very easily. And put later on the ball part, it's kind of easy, but there's this, this other tough part. I found these black cores kind of hard, I had a lot of trouble spamming them really hard. And this other part, you have to hit a bit early, but you hit a bit late, you're gonna go crash and die if you don't hit those green and blue orbs really quickly. The next part, robot. Oh my god, this robot part was so annoying. I mean, annoying. It just made me so freaking mad. I die here all the time. You gotta do tiny jumps and hold and click the green orb and jump and jump carefully. Then to a small cube and you're good. Then this is the part where the beat builds up. It's really easy. Let's get to the drop. To the first boss fight. I don't know what I even talk about. Alright, first you gotta hold down the yellow portal. Then easily go up in the blue. You gotta hit this black orb when you go into the cube. Slightly difficult, then you go to another ship, then you gotta go in the UFO, you gotta jump at those red portal things. Then you go to a mini ship, and you're upside down, you gotta hold this pink and green arrow. Then, portal so you're upside down, then you're normal. That part, I found it kind of really hard, because you gotta avoid that gear. Then you go to a QB, you just click on the blue orb, and then you hold it. Then you gotta spam really fast into the UFO, upside down, you hit the black orb. Then you gotta hold this pink and mirror. I find it very hard, okay? I'll let go so freaking early. Then the duel. Oh my god. On top of your spire, on the bottom of your UFO. I found it easier to look at the UFO. It was very confusing. Towards the end of it, you gotta spam really hard. Then hold on these pink arrows. You go into another UFO, you're upside down. Then you're normal. Hold these two green arrows. Go to another ship. I found that part going upside down into normal. Oh, when I go normal, I'll crash into that little monster thing on the top. And I didn't really find that many waves. You just had to like, tap, 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 and you're good. I don't know why I die here. I die here a couple times hitting those orbs. Because I someone hit it too early or too late. 
Yeah, that way it really is. You just spam and you're all good. Thing when it's UFO, you gotta click right where it's on that red thing. You click the black one. To pass the part, you gotta kinda hit in the middle of the blue words. You gotta like boop, boop, boop. You kinda have to wait a second it every little. Then you hit the green arrow, you got you go upside down. Then I could click really fast on that blue and portal. You hold the pink arrow. Then in this next part with upside down, you it's pretty much auto. Then this part is kind of the same at the beginning of that. Just kind of wait a second before you click the blue orbs. The green. And that blue thing up on, you have to click it. Then hold on the pink arrow. Click again. Hold the green arrow and you go into the final duel. This duel is insane. It was really confusing. I didn't know I was going to be able to pass it. And this is the second boss fight. First, you are a ball on the... As you know, a ball on the ball and cube on the top. Then the cube comes down the bottom, you have the ball on the top. And so you gotta click the yellow portal when you go into UFO, you gotta click really fast. Then it goes in four times speed. At this point, you just gotta spam it, just spam it. Then you gotta hold the pink orb, and then just spam more. Then you go into a dual ball. You can just click fast, but also you, there is a timing, you go too fast, you get hit by the spike, so he's gonna shoot something at you. And after that, you're pretty much good. The duel was just very confusing. It took me a lot of practice. Overall, this level was very frustrating. I died in a lot of dumb places. After that, you hold a green arrow. You go into a mini queue. You jump. You click the blue orb. Then you hit that pink orb. And pretty much into a fast mini queue. You really have to click where the arrows tell you. And then the level is over. Well, I hope you enjoyed this top 10 video. Something new on my YouTube channel. I suck at this, at audio and voiceovers. Maybe I'll get better. Overall, I love making this. Well, see ya. Oh yeah, one more thing. There are gonna be credits that show all the creators who made it, all that stuff, the IDs and stuff to support them. And when that's playing, Dance Man's gonna play a song for you. Okay, bye.